if you like to live on the wild side and you don't mind some real danger, here's a fun do-it-yourself project you can do. Create your own mold plantation. There's a lot of side benefits for those of you who enjoy discomfort and threats to your health. Mold in your home can cause things like skin irritation, coughing and wheezing. Mold can irritate your eyes and your throat. Just lots of good old-fashioned health problems. To construct your own mold plantation, it's what you don't do that counts. For example, if some area of your home gets wet, don't bother to dry it. Dampness can help start your mold to germinate within only 24 to 48 hours. Avoid, what some would call, adequate ventilation. Air movement can dry things out way too quickly. Also avoid the use of dehumidifiers. They are not your mold crops friend. Keep indoor humidity levels high. If you have landscaped around your home so that rainwater flows away, then redirect it so that your crawl space or basement stays damp. And most important, if you have water damage from a leak or flood, never call a water damage specialist. They are experts at extracting water and drying out your home. They have ways of detecting all that valuable hidden moisture that can get your crops started off with a bang. It's your mold plantation's worst enemy. In addition to poor health, there are more benefits to having your own indoor mold plantation. A big one is the unsightly appearance and general impression of neglect. So get your mold farm started today. Or not. A mold plantation isn't for everyone.